Hello, everybody. This is Nick Natero, Professor of Information Technologies and Computer Science Lakeland Community College. In previous videos, uh, I talked quite extensively about the necessity to image the original um, technology, whether it be a hard drive, a floppy, a USB. Do we even use floppies anymore? Uh, yes. Whatever type of technology, even, even the memory, uh, we want to work with an image. We don't want to work with a real piece of evidence because with anything with computers, we run the risk of contaminating that evidence. So in a previous video, um, we spent a little time explaining how to image image um, a drive or, or, or a piece of evidence. In this video, I want to examine a little bit deeper the tool FTK Imager. Not only can we use it for imaging, but we can use it for other things like we can then take an image and begin to do investigations on it. We can, we can review the image, um, the evidence on FTK Imager. But even before that, I wanna do something really simple. I wanna take that image and I wanna treat it like it's a mountable device. I wanna mount it onto my computer so I can open it up with Windows Explorer or I can open it up with other tools. I'm not just restricted to, to opening it up with a FTK Imager or having to open it up with some other uh, technology. So, we're going to take an image that I created already. You've seen that video. And I'm going to mount it onto my forensics machine on my computer here. Uh, and then I'm going to treat it like it's any other device. But I'll make some caveats in there. So let's go up to my machine. And here on my machine, I have the FDK imager. Just kind of FYI, I just downloaded the most recent one, 4.712. So in a couple years, it might look dated. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've already imaged the device. Save time there. So what I want to do is I want to mount that image. Uh, basically treat it like it's a piece of equipment on my given machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the image. And I, it just pops up to the folder where the image is. I actually have this the, the same image done two different one, ways. One, I've saved it as a DD file. The other is I saved it as an EO, EO1 file. Um, doesn't really matter. We use EO1 if it, there's some proprietary software that requires EO1. We use DD because that's kind of like the, the standard. I'm going to use the standard. I'm going to say, take that image and let's mount it to my machine and let's treat it like a drive on my machine. Uh, we're going to mount it as a physical or logical. Yes, I can mount it either a physical only or logical. Let's let's keep it really simple. And we're going to physical or logical. Uh, mount it as the next drive letter. Okay, so it's going to be mounted as the drive letter E. And for our forensics investigation, we don't want to fool around with it. We want to look at it. We want to peruse it. We want to see what's out there. But even the image, we don't want to get down the path of maybe even contaminating the image. Then we would have to go back and, and redo the, not redo the image, but use a copy of that image. So I'm going to say, treat this device as if it's sacred. It's not going to be a read-writable device. All right, now let's mount it. Give it a second. Now, it's going to have a strange error, and that's actually an FTK imager error. It's going to work, but the FTK imager is kind of saying, I, I don't have a complete mount here. And I'll explain why in a second when it comes up. All right, here's kind of the error. It says, add drive failed. It, it didn't mount it. Um, give it a couple seconds on my computer over here. And what's basically happening is my computer doing okay here um, my computer is saying you've just plugged in some device so it's actually my computer and I'll swing this over I can't swing it over because it's on the other screen um, but on my other screen it's saying you've just plugged in another device do you want to add that device so it's actually FTK imager it's, it's on an, it's not an error it's just my operating system is being cautious and say you plug something in so I, I said yes and you can see that you can see that it's been mounted all right, so let's close this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a, an Explorer, a Windows Explorer. And I'm going to scroll down, and there's my E drive. Now, it's not going to look exactly like the image because it knows that it, it's acquired that image, but it actually does have all the given files that were on that image file. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger but I could fundamentally treat this 
mounted drive, as, this mounted image as, as a drive on my machine, but with a caveat. Let me go to a folder here and let me delete something, right? Remember, I made it a read-only image. So I'm working, I'm not paying attention, and I, I delete it. Are you sure you want to permanently delete that file? Yeah, okay. Now it does look like I've deleted that file, um, but let's find out something. Let's unmount this, let's take this removal drive. Now, the way I'm gonna do it now is not gonna work, but let me do it anyways. Let's eject it, which we've all done many times. I can't really eject it because the mounting apparatus is actually going through the FTK imager. So it's, even though it's mounted onto my machine, it's still the, the apparatus to assume the mount is, is basically the FTK imager. I'm gonna say, okay, I, I, I understand that. So I'll go back to FTK Imager and I'll go to image mounting. And this time, I should have kept the browser open. On this time, I'm just gonna unmount. Give it a second. I'm gonna unmount this one too. All right, let me go back to my, I should have kept the Explorer open. We should see that there's no longer a G drive anywhere. All right, so there's no G drive there. Let me remount that image. Go back to the image. And I'll do a physical, I'll do everything again, but this time I'm, I'm gonna I'll leave it as read only again. I'm gonna say mount. We get that add drive failed because it's waiting for my uh, operating system to pretend that there's a drive being mounted. So I'll say, okay, I'll go over to my other machine and I'll say, add the device it's on my other machine. All right, give it a second. The E drive is back up. Let me close this. And if I go back to an Explorer, there's the E drive. And if I go to private, you can see that the item that I deleted is um, still there because I mounted it as read only. So we're laying down all these methods to protect what we're doing. You know, we're never working with the original device unless we absolutely have to. Uh, so we're working with images. And then uh, we've talked about the hash values of those images and creating hash values. Uh, but then eventually, we even mount the image as if it's a drive, and I'll do other videos about what we can do with that image as a drive. Uh, we'll mount those, that image as another drive, and we will protect it by saying it's read-only. So this gives us the ability to open up other tools um, at our disposal. So we don't need specialized tools. Obviously, we want to use specialized tools, but we need specialized tools to constantly open this up. We use uh, FTK Imager, we mount it as a drive, and then we do what we need to do. Uh, that being said, let's keep learning stuff.